Charles reminisced about his own Royal Marines training, including navigating an underwater tunnel nicknamed the Sheep Dip, as he and Queen Camilla watched Kenyan Marines stage a covert beach landing in Mombasa on Thursday. For the monarch, who wore his Royal Marines tie as Captain General, the exercise brought back memories of his own military training in Limpston, Devon, in 1974, when he qualified as a helicopter pilot. He told one Kenyan Marine, Have the Royal Marines put you through quite a lot? Have they put you through an assault course? They are quite testing, and asked another if they had intercepted any drug smugglers. You know exactly what to do with them. Captain Sam Powell of 40 Commando, who provided the commentary, said the king was reminiscing about the sheep dip, which is part of the endurance course. He added, it is essentially a submerged tunnel that you dive through and underneath and then come out the other side. So you have to hold your breath as you go underneath it. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the Royal Family Key events. Get the latest royal news from the Express Royal Newsletter. 8.18 7 minutes ago, 8.37 Sophia Papamavrudi Britain may be forced to pay reparations to Kenya soon. But King Charles won't be paying King Charles and Queen Camilla generally received an overwhelmingly positive response during their royal tour to Kenya, according to Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer. However, the question of reparations has hung over the trip ever since they landed in Nairobi. At a state banquet held in their honor by President William Ruto on Tuesday night, the king gave an address during which he acknowledged the atrocities of British colonial rule in Kenya particularly during the Mau Mau rebellion in the 1950s. He said, it is the intimacy of our shared history that has brought our people together. However, we must also acknowledge the most painful times of our long and complex relationship. The wrongdoings of the past are a cause of the greatest sorrow and the deepest regret. There were abhorrent and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans as they waged as you said at the United Nations, a painful struggle for independence and sovereignty, and for that, there can be no excuse. 17 minutes ago, 8.27 Sophia Papamavrudi King and Queen end their state visit to Kenya King Charles is ending his four-day state visit to Kenya today by sitting down with faith leaders to hear about their work in promoting peace, security and development. Charles will join a meeting of religious leaders from the Coast Interfaith Council of Clerics, CICC, gathered at Mombasa Memorial Cathedral. The clerics are from organizations that represent Christianity, Hindu, Muslim and African traditional faiths working together to tackle pressing issues in the region. Later, the king will view some of the cathedral's architectural features before meeting its choir and will unveil a plaque to mark his visit. This is Charles and Queen Camilla's first visit to a Commonwealth country since the King's accession to the throne. 23 minutes ago, 8.21 Sophia Papamavrudi King Charles Kenya tour shows H's breaking away from Queen Elizabeth's example exclusive. King Charles appears to be far less formal than the late Queen Elizabeth and that shows H's breaking away from her, a royal historian has claimed. The monarch and Queen Camilla are currently on a royal tour of Kenya from October 31st until November 3rd, which is their first visit to a Commonwealth country since their accession last year. Royal historian Marlene Koenig noted that the monarch is doing his job perfectly and knows how to work a crowd as he has been preparing for this role for decades. 26 minutes ago, 8.18, Natalie Crookham, get the latest royal news from the Express Royal Newsletter. Sign up to the Express Royal Newsletter and get the latest news, analysis and pictures. Solus in bed one hour ago, 7.34, Sophia Papamavrudi, good morning, good morning from Manchester. In Sophia Papamavrudi and Ill be bringing you all the latest news on the King and Queen Camilla's visit to Kenya into the afternoon. Feel free to reach out to me as I work at sophia.papamavrudi at reachplc.com experience the express like never before advert free experience without interruptions. Rocket fast speedy loading pages. Exclusive unlimited access to all our content. 
Start 30-day free trial.